Hey everyone, this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard and this is quite unusual kit from them because here we have a 135 scale kit, okay, but this is part of their diorama series and we have here a cobblestone road with a tram line, so it's kinda a diorama base, let's say, for your project and of course we have a commercial sample here, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review, so it should be interesting to check what is supplied in this kit because as far as it can see we also have the uh, lines here and the poles and by the way the kit number is 36065 as I said it's a 135 scale so it should be already available so you will get exactly the same stuff and here you can see comparison with my hand it's a standard mini art box and it is quite hefty to be honest here we also have some uh, safety advices in several languages we have also information about manufacturer and some safety advices and also here we have the sizing for the panels so you can see it by yourself this should be quite large panels because as far as you can see the biggest one is ah so if you combine them together you will get 64 centimeters but each of those halves is 32 centimeters so maybe you can even use one who knows and this is a top opening box so it should be quite easy to open just give me a second here is what we have inside so those are two actual large bases which take a whole space of the box and we also have the lamp post here and of course they are packed into a sealed plastic bag so I will need some time in order to open it so just give me a second I will just use my scissors in order to cut through but in the meantime I can also remind you that Miniart produces the tram kits maybe that's why we have the tram line so you can get a tram kit from them, install it here and also maybe get some vehicles, figurines it's up to you what else you add but it might be a quite nice combo so now I've cut through the plastic bag just give me a second to remove these large panels out of the bag so first of all I would like to show you the lamp posts because this is something what we encountered in the previous releases as well I think we had the tram combo kit where we actually had this lamp post and we reviewed it as far as I remember so I will leave only one because as you can see these are identical plastic parts no point in showing them uh, in a separate let's say shots but as you can see here we have the lamp post parts which should be glued out of two house so if I flip it over here you can see that we have even the guiding pins inside which is quite interesting for such a simple subject where you should be careful is this uh, thin um, let's say iron lines which will be installed also on the lamp post and maybe it's also a good opportunity to play with some weathering because those lamp posts obviously do not stay new they usually get dirty they usually get a bit rusty so that's something to play with I do not see any clear parts unfortunately so I wonder if it was like this in the real life so if you have something to say write it in the comment section but now we move to our diorama bases so as you remember they are absolutely identical so I will show you only one and here it is so let's zoom out a bit so that you can see the size of it maybe I'll remove the sticker here we can zoom out even more okay so as I said it's 32 centimeters I was just checking to be sure because it's a uh, 64 in total we have the tram line here obviously we have the cobblestone nicely imitated with the uh, molded plastic and also you can see that it's slightly rised over the surface so this is basically the panel as you can see it's quite thick here you can check also the opposite side that we have here the strengthening let's say lines which help with uh, to avoid this I would say damage from bending inside also here you can see the push marks which can be easily deleted here and I think I saw on the opposite side here so it's just a matter of sending and of course it will be a matter of choosing the right painting approach to such thing because here it is uh, I would say there are a lot of opportunities to use on these panels and that's why it's important to decide in advance here is the second one I'm showing so they are exactly the same size 
and they are quite heavy as I said before so keep it in mind maybe you will be assembling uh, some there on a base so that's why it will be important to consider the overall size of the whole project because it might be quite hefty overall once you combine all the vehicles and other stuff so next we continue with assembly manual here I would like to go a bit more detailed because we have here some interesting stuff so let's zoom in like this First of all, we start with some safety advices. Obviously, there is no history note. And by the way, about history note, maybe it would be a wise idea to get some reference photos of European streets so that you can get the idea how to properly paint the cobblestones. Obviously, there won't be any marking guide as far as I can guess. So that's why it's better to <laughs> check some actual photos how these cobblestones and tram lines get used, how they are looking weathered in real life. So definitely go for it and if you maybe have a chance to go outside on the street and take a photo of your street where you have the cobblestone, maybe that's also a good idea. So here we start assembly with the lamp post as far as you can see or the line holders. Here as you can see some parts will have to be combined together but it should be quite an easy task because we have a guiding elements inside and again the assembly of all these modules let's say or sections together is also quite an easy task because again we have a lot of guiding elements for them next we continue with something interesting here so as you remember we had also the uh, lines stretched between the pole and the mast here so this is something what is obviously not included into the kit and this is something you have to source and I'm just a bit confused because they do not mention the overall thickness of this line so if it was mentioned here it would be easier to define what the th thickness you need here but I guess it would be 0 0.3 0 0.5 something in between those two sizes so definitely remember about it and maybe it's a good idea to use the rigging line from aircraft models next we also have here the clamps which will be placed on this iron part and then we install this top part together with the bottom part onto the uh, this diorama plates so as far as you can guess the position should be according to what we see here so if you join these two house or two panels together you should position these poles on both ends there are no guiding elements for these parts so that's why you have to be careful while positioning them so that they will be kind of parallel and maybe it would be a wise idea to use uh, some ruler in order to draw the exact position in so that they will be more or less precise in between each other but overall i think it's a handy addition for modelers who plan to build a diorama with a street scene doesn't matter if you plan to use the tram it can be without tram you can place some other vehicle still it will be interesting and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye